Hey everybody, Dan's back with another episode of Digging York County. The home you see in front of me is a property that I've wanted to hunt for quite some time. And through sheer luck, I already hunted a property that is owned by the same individuals who own this property. Um, this property in particular is the home that my grandfather was born in, in 1939, and I, words can't explain, like, just how I feel right now being able to go through here, and hopefully I'll be able to find something that I could possibly tie into my grandfather or his parents, um, so hopefully I can, uh, come back with some good targets, and, uh, I'll let you know what we find. All right, I'm back here with my first target. It's, uh, Nice high tone hitting on the AT Pro 7778. It was showing me about eight inches down and going by the pin pointer. It was pretty accurate at about seven and a half inches. Um, already found it. Haven't really wiped it off yet, but down in the hole, you can see the coin. It's green. Looks like it's gonna be a looks like it's gonna be a wheat penny. Let's see if I can uh, get a year off of it. It uh, looks kind of worn on the front. Best I can see, looks like it's gonna be a 1917. 1917 would predate my grandfather by 22 years no 21 years i'm sorry he was born in 38 and that appears what it is 1917 all right that is awesome all right uh let's keep going okay back with another signal and have what i believe to be the end of an old shotgun shell it is, uh, it's got some age to it, and probably take a lot of cleaning to get any identifying markers off of it, but, eh, that's pretty cool. Alright, I'll be back with the next signal. Alright, back with another coin, and, uh, you can see it down there. Let's see what we have. It is going to be another wheat. And uh, see if we can get a see if we can get a year off of it. going to be, well, I can't tell if that's 1920 or 1926. I'll clean that up a little better. Oh, actually it looks like as it zooms in, I think it's a 1926. Another good early wheat. I think that'll clean up nice. All right, be back with another target. All right, back with another signal. Uh, ringing up the same as the wheat pennies so I wouldn't be surprised if that's what it is uh, correction the last one found was actually a 1920 and not a 1926 so that was cool that it's a little older oh there it is freshly flipped okay That's going to be another early one. See if I can't zoom in and get a year. Lighting here kind of sucks. But it does look like it's 1920s. Nineteen twenty-eight, possibly. 
It's okay, I'll take it. Yeah. All right, I got something else down here in the hole. Um, not quite sure what that is. Right, well, I'll clean it off a little better and see. And uh, I'll show that in the recap, if I'm able to identify what it might have been. And uh, I'll be back with another target. So, <clears throat> back with another decent sounding signal, which ended up being pieces of a, a tin can lid. And I uh, had a handful of these little, little shards. But what was kind of cool was what else was in the hole and actually pieces of milk glass, which uh, is pretty neat. Probably got a handful of years on it. And uh, well, I'll keep digging. If I find anything good from this one, I'll let you know. If not, I'll be back with the next one. All right, so this signal was kinda, kinda jumpy, and the, sh the depth was actually telling me anywhere from two to eight inches. And as I sat down and I got some dirt cleared away, it was at the top. Oh. All right. I've always wanted a yard stake. All right. Oh, they can't all be treasure. I'll be back with the next target. All right. We're going to try and dig this one live, having some issues in here with all the tree roots. So. <clears throat> Headphones off. See what we can find. So it fall. Yep. Another coin. And so far the newest coin I found here is 1928. Yeah, I can tell by the coloration this is a weedy. Oh wait, no. Did I just find my first stinking Lincoln? That was very deceiving. That had some nice color on it too. Shit, 1970. All right, well, sorry, I lied. Got my hopes up again. I will uh, be back with another target. All right, I think I'm gonna make this the last target of the video. This one was a nice high tone, hitting up 90, 91. And I don't wanna get my hopes up because I haven't found silver yet, but that is prime location for, whoop. What do I have here? Oh wow, is that a old makeup compact? No way. All right, well, let me see if I can't clean this up a little better. Come back, it appears to be intact. The hinge isn't broken. Let's see if I can't get any markings or ID off of it. All right, I'll be back. 
all right well back with a wrap up for today still have a lot of ground to cover but yeah it's gonna take some time and heck i didn't even move to the rear of the property yet let me just do a quick recap of today um got what i believe to be possibly a makeup case or a compact uh hinges intact which is pretty cool it's complete um no identifiable markings on it i'm actually kind of wondering if i should break it open or leave it how it is maybe see if there's something in it but uh not sure i have to think about that uh did manage to find four wheat pennies today uh all early yeah, 1928, two from 1920, and one from 1917. So for coins, it was a decent well, it was a decent morning. And uh, unfortunately, nothing that I can tie directly to my grandfather yet. But uh, there's still hope. So all right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.